Merry Christmas, nerds, and happy holidays. We're coming at you late with the 2023 gift guide. Today is literally Cyber Monday. I think we all decide that Black Friday was a scam this year anyway, so it's fine. We're making this list like by type of nerd, book nerd, gamer nerd, tech nerd, etc. We keep it simple, but effective and applicable for years to come. Okay, so if you're in 2024, 2025 watching this, that's weird to think about, but hi, welcome to the channel. I'm Fifi. I've got my notes. I got my microphone. I've got my cozy Christmas sweater, my Christmas tree, and I even have some hot chocolate. This is my only Christmas mug and it's actually my husband's. So also it's gigantic. Anyway, you know, a lot of this stuff is pretty easy on your wallet, but there are some things that you can totally splurge on if the person is worthy of your love, effort, and cash. <laughs> I also want to encourage you guys to shop small this year. Farmer's markets are a big deal this time of year. I live in a very warm climate, so if you don't have farmer's markets, I'm sorry. I don't understand what snow is, but that's the beauty of online shopping, right? I know the Amazon is handy, and I know you're going to wait till the last minute to Christmas shop anyway, but if you can shop small, small start now and if you own a small business please like in the comments below link us to your website or if your sister has a small business uncle neighbor dogs cats whatever tell me about it reach out to me on instagram or whatever other socials you have comment it down below i would love for this to be like a small little corner of the internet where people can you know this can be a mini farmer's market right now if you are gonna shop small then buy stuff like right now like yesterday uh, no pressure, but it might take a while to get to you because tis the season. Okay, first category of nerds we're talking about are book nerds. I think the number one gift you could get for a book nerd is a Kindle or Kindle gift cards, right? Which I think is Amazon. And we already know Amazon's icky, but I love my Kindle. I got a Kindle for Christmas last year. Absolutely changed my life. I loved reading as a kid, but high school and college totally burned me out. But now I read every single night on my Kindle. I love that thing. Amazing, amazing gift idea. Next gift is themed candles. For example, every person wants to know what rise and actually smells like. Citrus, salt, sea scent. That's what Miss Sarah J Mass always says. I want to know what that really smells like. So I'm going to get a candle that smells like him. Obviously, this can also apply to pretty much anything else. Favorite TV show, book, movie, game, whatever. It lets you smell someone who doesn't really exist, which is really nice. <laughs> Next is fancy copies of their favorite classics. So for example, the pop-up storybook versions of Harry Potter or a cool, beautiful copy of Pride and Prejudice with like fancy stitching or something. It's also a really good gift. Like try to find while thrifting or antiquing because it can also be affordable it's sustainable and it's fun. Um, this is perfect for someone who just needs elevated basics. They already have a copy of Little Women, but here's an even cuter copy of Little Women. <laughs> Gift them your favorite book. What book are you reading right now? What book have you recommended to them that they need to read, but they just haven't got around to it yet? Gift that to them. Put a little note on the inside. Next is Kindle accessories. If they already have a Kindle, you know, obviously get them a gift card or something, but you could also get them a Kindle case, get them stickers to customize it. I've seen people get like the clear cases and they put stickers inside so they don't actually have to like stick the stickers on with the sticky stick stick stick. Anyway, I also crocheted myself a Kindle case and I think that's an awesome affordable DIY option. My Kindle case is actually like a crocheted book cover and I feel like that's also a perfect way to wrap the book you're gifting them. Next is a book light. It needs to be amber colored or warm tone, right? We don't need blue light at nighttime. Bookmarks. This is another super easy DIY. I've seen super cute options on Etsy, like fancy leather or pressed flowers, but you can absolutely make these yourself. It's very customizable, very simple, very affordable. Bookmarks. Last, I feel like is a crossover into like the planning nerd, productivity nerd, stationary coloring artist nerd, fancy journals, stationary pens. It kind of introduces them into like a new side of books. And I'm not an artist, so I, there's no artist nerd section on here because I don't know what artists want. I use a bullet journal. I use all my fancy pens, cute markers. That's also pretty affordable. Also, I feel like this goes without saying, but I'm not sponsored by anyone. I don't have any affiliate links or anything fancy like that. I don't have time to put up a thousand links in the description box. 
I'm sorry. But if you reach out to me in the comments or on my Instagram or something, I can hook you up. We can hunt down Christmas gifts together. Just ask and ye shall receive. <laughs> Next up, let's talk about our gamer nerds. The most obvious gift, a new gaming console. Maybe they want the new Switch OLED or the Oculus or the PlayStation, new PC, oh, who knows? But sometimes it's worth it just to buy them like that one expensive gift and then any other gifts you might have to get them, you can DIY them or make them simple. It'll make for a memorable Christmas. If they already have their consoles, then you know, get them whatever games they might be looking forward to or gift cards not to Steam or the Nintendo store or GameStop or whatever the heck. <laughs> is GameStop even a thing? I don't know. Something that's a little more unique is controller or console customization. You know, if they want a new PC sidewall thing, I don't really know the terms. Fancy fans for their PC. If maybe you could get them a custom controller or get them the the skins that you can use as stickers to put on their controller or their console. Get them cute little thumb grips. <laughs> I've seen whole customized controllers for sale like on Etsy. You could also like just buy the shells so they could customize it themselves. Uh, this is pretty much endless. This is great if you do know their style. <laughs> it's a little bit harder if you don't, um, but I feel like it's still very vast where you could find something that they would like, whether it's just a cute thumb grip or like a carrying case or even just some stickers they can put on their Nintendo. Next are themed clothes. I feel like this could literally be applicable to any category on this list, but I feel like with games especially, it can be really cool. There are tons of options on Etsy and even on Amazon that are in all sorts of styles, or maybe like some cozy pajama pants that have Fortnite guys on them. I don't play Fortnite, so I don't really know. All right, we're gonna move on to our anime nerds or weebs, if you will. <laughs> Something very unique to anime nerds are workout clothes. I feel like I see anime themed workout clothes everywhere. <laughs> And I feel like this could be a tricky gift because you don't want to give it to someone and be like, you need to work out more. But if you know someone who's a little bit of a gym rat or something, it, it doesn't hurt to have like freaking Goku on your butt cheering you on. Some are more obnoxious, some are more subtle. Also, you know, regular anime clothes, obviously. Well, maybe it's not obvious. I, I actually hate when people say obviously when it's not obvious. I think I just did that. Anime clothes, anime themed clothes, get it in their style. Are they minimalist? Are they maximalist? Do they like color? Do they like neutrals? Do they like it more? subtle? Do they like it all up in your face? Do they want a kawaii girl on their shirt or do they want like one Akatsuki cloud on the back of their black shirt? That's for you to decide. The Amazon anime shirts are a little bit cringy, but Etsy has some pretty good ones. I specifically can think of Shop Kazuko on Instagram. The girl Carmen, I believe is her name. She is so funny, but also her shop is actually so cute. Her designs are perfect. Like I don't want my shirt to scream, I'm a weeb, but I also want to like shout out Captain Levi a little bit, you know? And I also feel like you could get some good ones at like box lunch or Hot Topic. Next gift for our weebs, is manga. Now they might not necessarily read manga, but maybe you could get them into it. Maybe that's the book nerd in me talking, but I also feel like this is just a really easy collectible item. They don't have to read it, but I think it looks really cool. Manga has like very beautiful art on the front or even like on the spines of the books I've seen. I feel like that's a really cool and simple gift that they can like have on display. All right, next nerd category are Dungeons and Dragons nerds. The ultimate gift I think that you could give to a D&D &D nerd is a customized binder or journal. As a dungeon master, I want my players to take notes. And if they don't have a notebook to take notes in, I'm going to take it upon myself to give them a notebook so that they will take notes. I've seen a ton on Etsy where you can make it totally customizable to that person's character or to that player specifically. A cool leather or wooden binder, notebook, journal, whatever. I think that's awesome. I personally lean toward the binders because you can move pages around and print out your own stuff. If you can get them at an affordable price point, I think that's an awesome idea. To go along with that, fancy pens, pens shaped like swords or dragons or whatever. Next, the most obvious gift, which is dice. Dice is a tricky, slippery slope, right? Because you could just give someone some dice and be like, yeah, I thought of you, they're blue and you like that. But I feel like you could be more thoughtful with that. Maybe you could get them dice that you think represent their character or maybe splurging on a fancy set of dice that have 
mini unicorns on the inside. And either way, dice can be a great like complimentary gift or like the star of the show if you get them like fancy set of gemstone dice. Next, mystery bags. My local D&D store has these mystery bags, like grab and go bags. You pay like 20 bucks and there's an enamel pin or a fancy dice or a set of blah, blah, blah. They're so cute. I've also seen stores that make them themselves. Those are so cool. And I feel like that's like giving someone a lottery ticket almost, but like, it's a little bit less like gambling. Anyway, I think the mystery bags are a super cool idea because you don't know exactly what you got them and it just like adds to the thrill of it. Map accessories for your dungeon master, you know, like condition rings or trees or stairs or fancy new mats or whatever. This is super easy and I feel like it like benefits everyone in the party. Tiny bags. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but I feel like getting someone a cute bag or carrying case or something for their dice is such a cute idea. You know, it's like a coin purse, right? You can put your dice in there, actual fake money that your players use, put that in there. This is also something that you could crochet or sew or be crafty with it. Next is minifigures. This is a little bit obvious. Custom minifigures or pre-painted ones or get them a painting set. This is also one of those things where you could gift them an experience. Maybe you can host a pa minifigure painting night at your house. You just have everything set up and you have everyone like come over. You pay for the supplies. Pretty inexpensive if you're smart about it. Last on the list is fancy copies of books. I know that Wizards of the Coast have like these fancy copies of the player's handbook and I think fancy copies of every single book they've released. I am obsessed with them, but I don't have a single one because they are so expensive for no reason and I will never buy them for myself, but I would absolutely cry if someone got them for me. So I'm sure you have other players in your group that feel the same as I do and if you're willing to splurge for them, do it. All right, next we're moving on to our technology nerds. Now I am married to one of these, so I feel like I have pretty good expertise in this area. First of all, cameras for your home. This is a really easy one to buy on Amazon. This not only provides extra security, but it also adds like curiosity, right? I've seen like pet cameras, doorbell cameras, porch light cameras, all that sort of thing. Feel like if you know a tech nerd, it might be something that they just have always eyed, but never bought for themselves. Next are the tile trackers for like your wallet and keys and your phone. You could also do like Apple Air tags or whatever, and I'm sure there's other brands, but Tile is the one that I know the best. These are actually very helpful and they're pretty dang good. A good portable charger. Sounds simple, but man, it sucks to have a crappy portable charger. And this is one of those elevated basics. Spend a little bit of extra money and give someone a really good portable charger, especially if you know they're prone to traveling or whatever. <laughs> Next, speakers. This could be car speakers, laptop speakers, speakers for your TV, sound bar, a portable speaker, like a JBL speaker. This is almost a foolproof gift, especially if you have someone who loves to jam out or really enjoy the cinematic aspect of a movie. Okay, let's talk elevated basics. I'm thinking headphones. I'm thinking fancy desk chair. I'm thinking an ergonomic mouse, things like that, that maybe theirs are getting a little bit worn or they're not totally thrilled with it. For example, my husband really wanted some bone conducting headphones that he could wear while he was working out where they don't actually go in your ear. They just kind of like sit on the outside of it and he loves those things. Just look around at their setup, look around at what they have, what looks dingy, what looks a little bit worn out, what have they been complaining about not working so well lately. Those are the things you could consider. And I'm not saying like get them an all new pair of headphones because the ones they had were all white and now they're a little bit gray. Like, no, don't do that. Don't be silly. But I feel like this is a good time to gift them something that's a little bit extra special that they wouldn't buy on the regular. It's just an elevated, basic thing that they use all the time already. Next, a customizable keyboard. This is a whole rabbit hole. This will give them a whole new hobby. This can take a bit of research. So if you're up to it, if your giftee is up to it, this is an awesome idea. You don't have to go through like all the switches and bases and everything like that, but getting them like a simple customizable mechanical keyboard could be like the gateway drug into an entire new hobby. Next is a fancy alarm clock. This is something I asked for like two years ago. I have 
one of the hatch alarms. And I love that thing, honestly. It is so much nicer to be woken up with warm light and the birds rather than my phone alarm beeping and screaming at me at 6 a.m. It's just not necessary. Finally, for our tech nerds, an Alexa or a Google. This is something that a lot of people already have. And I think this is where accessories can come into play. Light bulbs that can connect to them or speakers that can connect to them. Get them the Google Chromecast, things like that that you could connect to your Alexa or your Google. What well, we have our Christmas tree hooked up to and it's so nice to be like, hey Google, turn on the tree rather than having to plug it or unplug it all the time. Okay, our final category today is miscellaneous, which I know that's not very helpful, but this can literally apply to any of these categories or whatever your nerdy heart desires. Um, First, the obvious one, and I, there I go saying obvious again, clothes. Like I said before, you could get them things that are simple, classics, t-shirts, shorts, pajama pants, whatever. But you could also get them something like say Renaissance Fair Lover and maybe she wants a corset to go with her outfit or maybe he wants a piece of chain mail to go with his outfit. I know that sounds weird but y'all are weird like me. You can help them kind of like cosplay or if they are a cosplayer, get them something that they would use, a new wig or something. I'm not super familiar with that. Renaissance Fair is about as much as I do. I'm not even a Halloween girl, but I feel like a cool cloak, Harry Potter cloak, Renaissance style clothes. I feel like that's a really unique gift idea. Also, you can just get them like cozy outfits. I think a really awesome gift is like a cozy lounge set, shirt and pants. It seems very luxurious because you're getting them an entire outfit when really it's not always very expensive. It seems more special and cool because they don't need pants to go with it. They have the shirt and the pants and the matching socks. Also, if you don't know someone's size, you can always get oversized or get something like socks or a hat or mittens. Not sure if you want themed mittens, but you could. And I feel like that's an easy way. If you don't want to assume someone's clothing size. Get them something that doesn't really need a size. Next is themed car accessories. I wouldn't have thought of this if I wasn't like helping my husband deck out his new car when he got it last year. Got him like new floor mats and a little mini trash can and stuff, but I didn't get him themed things. I've seen stuff like these cool lights that when you open the door, it shines like a Sharingan on the ground. And you could even get like the license plate covers that have like a cute design on them, whether it's like a video game or an anime or book quotes or something. That I feel like is very customizable. And if you know this person loves their car, easy, easy gift. You could also get like the little tire plugs. <laughs> I've seen those that are customizable and obviously like bumper stickers and stuff according to their style. Every time they look at that little cutesy air freshener beads hanging down from their mirror, they think of you. Next are lights, okay? LED lights, ring lights, fairy lights. This one is a little more vague and I'm doing that on purpose because I would have put it with tech, but I feel like people who wouldn't consider themselves as tech people would still enjoy a good light, right? <laughs> Behind me, this little lamp, it's actually a candle warmer. So it heats up the candle that's beneath it as well as providing like a warm glow. And I turn that thing on almost every single morning because it's cold and dark in my office, but that provides such a warm light and it even smells good as it heats up the candle. Next is desk decor organization or even things like power strips, cable management stuff. If they're a PC person, if they work from home, this is something that they could absolutely benefit from. And it's very customizable. New monitor stand, or maybe they want a new portable monitor because they travel a lot. Easy and very practical gift that they will totally use. Next is a laptop bag, messenger bag, a backpack, laptop case. They might already have something like this. This is where an elevated basic comes in. This is where the customization comes in. Very practical, very handy, very customizable, very useful. Blankets, pillows, stuffies. Last miscellaneous thing is a pretty essential oil diffuser. I'm not a candle person myself. I don't like the yucky toxins in them. <laughs> but I do love essential oil diffusers. And I think like a pretty diffuser is a really cool way to decorate a space. You could also gift them a few lovely smelling essential oil combos. Candles are an obvious gift option. Essential oil diffuser is just the opposite side of that coin. It's a little more Fifi and this is Fifi's Christmas gift guide. So 
All right, guys, this is bonus round. I'm gonna give you my Christmas list. No explanation, no blabbing. I'm just gonna list off all the bullet points, things that I sent out to my family because they begged me to put a Christmas list together. And this is what I put. Birkenstocks, because my old ones are worn. Any of the lace of Allbird tennis shoes or the Hoka Clifton nines, all white. A Raza makeup. Leggings from Viore or Lululemon. The Well People Expressionist Volumizing Mascara or the Ilia Limited Lash Mascara basically any non-toxic mascara. Leather boots, like lace-up combat boots, brown, I don't have anything specific, just something like that. A Kindle case, a mechanical customizable keyboard, a cotton robe, maybe waffle knit, just something like big, plush, cotton, it has to be cotton. Cozy pajamas or loungewear sets, preferably cotton or silk, no polyester yuckiness, natural fabrics, please. <laughs> Kindle gift card, which is probably just an Amazon gift card. Coloring books, preferably like less complex designs. <laughs> Beef tallow moisturizer, pretty bookmark. Basically anything from the detoxmarket.com. And last, cute stationery, simple planners or journals, stickers, post-it notes, whatever. So yeah, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. If this video helped you out at all, give it a like, subscribe, use the comment section, ask me questions, get in touch with each other, drop your links to your small businesses. I am so grateful for anyone who comments or interacts with me. I've got a whole 350 subscribers and I love you guys. And I am so grateful that we got to do this today. I will see you in the next one. Mwah. Fifi out.